Hey Frost community and welcome to the Ultimate Modding Guide Part 3. In this video I will cover all the essential tools and frameworks that are used in modding Skyrim. Alright, so let's start by opening Mod Organizer. Since we're going to be seeing this page a lot, why don't we add a little fun to the UI? Start by going over to the spanner icon at the top and select the Themes tab. From there you can choose any style you like. I am going to go with the Night Eyes style. Next up, we need to install two essential resources to our system so that the upcoming tools can function properly. And remember, all the download links can be found in the video description. Head over to the Visual Studios link and download version 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022. You will need both x64 and x86. Then head over to .NET and download version Runtime 6016. Again you will be needing both x64 and x86. Install all four and go back to MO2. You may have these installed already, in which case you can skip to the next step. Alright, go to the left pane and make a separator named Tools and Frameworks. Now download the files on screen, choose the Mod Manager option where it is available, and otherwise select Manual Download. Okay, once they are downloaded we can start by installing Beth INI. We can start by making a folder named Tools inside our MO2 install directory. You can find this by following me on screen. Once you have made the folder, go to the bar at the top and copy the address. Now head over to the Bethini zip file that you downloaded and right click. Then choose Extract All and paste the address that you copied into the location bar. Now click Extract. And with that you're done with installing Bethini. Time to set it up. Open the program and select Skyrim Special Edition. Click Yes and grab the location of our modded game root. You can do this by following me on screen. Set up your game path by using the address you just copied. Now find your MO2. Make sure your default profile is selected. Then save and exit. That's it, you're done with Beth INI. Time to move on to the next tool. Go over to the zip file of SSE Edit that you downloaded and right click. Then open with WinRAR and extract to your tool folder. Now we need to set SSE Edit in MO2. Just follow me on screen.
Now we can go on to the next tool. Okay, let's right click your ENB Organizer zip file and select Extract All. Then follow me on screen. That's it, we are done with ENB Organizer. Now onto Nemesis. When you are ready, head over to your Downloads tab on the right pane. Install Nemesis under your Tools Separator. And then find the install location and copy the address bar. Then you can go over to the Edit tab and set up Nemesis for MO2. Now we can make an output folder. Just follow me on screen. I recommend making a separator called Outputs, just to keep things neat. Now onto the final tool, head over to the Dindalod zip file. Right click and open with WinRAR. Now extract it to your tools folder and head over to the edit tab of MO2. We can now set Dindalod and TextGen in Mod Organizer. Just follow me on screen. Well done, that is the end of part three. Each tool will help us in later parts of this series, so please look forward to my tutorials on how to use these awesome tools. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications, so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks for watching my video. Cheers everyone.